subscribe my channel. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there you go. So guys, we are officially in what is it, week two, Adam? Yeah. That they're here. Yep, week Arakli two. and mm -hmm. the Georgian Hulk Laban. Uh, <laughs> we're doing biceps today here at Manos, the best bodybuilding gym in Dubai. We're starting off with CD Curl. So we actually did this already once last week, but we didn't film it. Uh, we didn't want to film every single workout and overload you guys with a lot of the same things because we're doing biceps about three times a week and a lot of the movements are the same, which I enjoy. It gives me time to get better at the movement rather than trying something new every week and not getting, being a master of one kick but like trying out a thousand different ones, for example. Um, so, last week I did 90 kg for six actually, two sets of, two attempted sets of six. Second set I got five. Arachne just said my homework for today is 100 kg for five. So, he's very confident in my ability to make a very fast progress. Um, I'd be happy with 95 for five, but we'll try 100 if all feels well. I think it's a bicycle. We didn't report it, but I went to 90 kg for two sets of like five or six. It went well, but there's a lot of pain in my forearm doing it, likely because of how the bar is curved and my limited supination. So as a result, I had a lot of inflammation there. So I stopped at like 70. Good thing is that the biceps are fresh. Like I could definitely go up more if the forearm wasn't in pain. Only the left side for some reason, likely because my bicep is torn and it's weaker than my right side. So my forearm might be overcompensating to like keep the weight stable and everything because there is a weakness on the left side and when you're going max separate, that weakness will show. Anyways, 
let the big boys do what they do best. They're at 110 now. And uh, I'll just be the cheerleader for today because I ain't doing more biceps unless it's just on the right side. Yes, yes. Come on. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Good. Yes, yes, yes. So we ordered a proper easy curl bar with a proper sleeve. This bar, because you have to over supinate to get comfortable in the wide grip when you're grab grabbing it, causes this area to be extra tense and strained just for me to grab it. But with an easy curl bar, you're taking a more neutral grip. And when I take a neutral grip, it's very comfortable. And that area of my form is not loaded. Um, I don't have to over supinate to grab it, so I can train harder, longer. So when that bar comes and after I'm fully recovered, We'll be able to have more of these heavy bicep curl bar sessions back to back. I'm looking forward to that bar getting here. Come on. Yes, yes, Come on. Right. Oh, yeah. You. <clears throat> oh. Woo. Ah. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh. Curl somebody's max bench press. <laughs> right. Very good. So Levon's best, I believe, is either 130 or 135. And that likely was done with a proper easy curl bar. Like I said, where you're taking a more neutral grip rather than over supinated. And the bigger you are, generally, if you're not paying much attention to mobility work and opening up, it's going to be very tough and uncomfortable to grab a normal, a standard curl bar in a gym, which this is a standard curl bar. Um, the curvature isn't as exaggerated as easy curl bar. Um, they made it that way again, so you can train the movement, you can train heavy curls back to back without this intense inflammation here. Um, I even felt some pops and cracks when I did it last week in the side, and I knew when that happened, like, oh, it's gonna be a while before I can do this again. But with the easy curl bar, that wouldn't happen. But Levon doing 120 with this barbell in this condition, if we literally had that other barbell today in his same condition he's in now, current condition, he would for sure do 10 kg. He'd do 130 with this, um, the same condition he's in right now. He'd do 130. So he's likely as strong as he's ever been. Like he's probably in his peak shape right now. It's just this bar what makes it harder. When I swapped, when I was training with easy curl, uh, strict curl, I remember going from 95, hitting a plateau because I was in pain. I just swapped bars to an easy curl, a proper one, and I did 105. No change in training or recovery. I just swapped the bars and I did 10 gauge more. the elbows on the pad, the easier it is.
<laughs> right? You know, right? Very much that bicycle coming up. So. Not this. <laughs> Maybe. No. Come on.
Mark? Yes. Oh. Oh. Brilliant. So, 2.5, right? So, we got yeah. 2.5 there. 5. 2.5, 5. It's 80, uh, 85 kg. No, 80 kg, sorry. Last one was 75, now it's 80. Because we added a 2.5 on each side. Bring us to 80 kg. Last preparation I do during only So I was asking him what's the most he's done seated. But typically when he does preparation, the last time he's done it, he was doing it standing. Which as he said just now off camera and on, it's a bit easier when you're standing. You can use your body and your legs a bit more. So seated, as we're doing it, a bit more isolated, a bit more difficult. So we're gonna say like let's let's say 90, because he can't remember for sure. Right now we got 80 on the dumbbell. Oh yes. Go, go, go. Oh yes. Beautiful. Oh yes. Strong biceps. Jesus. They look crazy right now. Wow. For all the dead homies, you got the chalk on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Levon's channel. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> just cranking out these. Oh, oh. That's right. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh. That's scary. scary, yeah. Right. Oh, oh, my God. Right. <laughs> See, that happened because you didn't subscribe fast enough. That's right. It's all your fault. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, that's the best time to do it. <laughs> right. Next time I'm dying under a 700 pound bench. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
nothing left but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, oh, oh. nice, yeah. I was trying, I was going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Come on, Larry. Yeah, yeah. yeah stop him. Yeah. Come on. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Levon's channel, guys. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> And Iraqi's Instagram. Links in the description below. <laughs> but Levon first, or he'll kill me. Music kind of tight. I think it's very tight. Easy. That's all I got, guys. This is too much You feel improvements? I think I, I didn't make you sweat yet, but a couple more practices. <laughs> it's still dry as a bone. Alma just moves. I try. Ah, yeah, I was just gonna say. Open my hand. Yes, wrist. Open my. I'll try and stop your top roll. Just one, one minute, wrist. I need the rest. I know you're okay. <laughs> Good, I'm another Larry after one week. <laughs> the dead homies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, come on, Larry. <laughs> I think you not need uh, more. <laughs> I go home. <laughs> I go home. <laughs> <laughs> you are dangerous. <laughs> He was taking it easy on me. Don't let it fool you guys. Left. Now he wants to beat up on you. <laughs> you okay, Lefty? My left is good, just not with a barbell or anything. Okay, all right. My left is fresh. Not that it means anything in front of Barakli. Right. right. <laughs> He's got that top wall opening you. Oh, there you go. Come on, keep it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there you go. The rack is not giving up anything now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let it One like this. <laughs> Here. Way too tired now. You know, I feel 
more better here than than here. Here I have bad grip, I feel. Yeah? Yeah, here I feel best. Oh, it's off on the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, stronger than Levon. <laughs> you don't need to do this. Your hands are strong enough. Please. Yeah, right. Yeah, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> okay, boss. Hold up the Strong. <laughs> that one finger was like adding double the weight. Right. Yeah. Yes, deadlifts make the finger strong. For this exact movement. Where, uh, oh my god. Not very big though. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Like 50% bigger. All right, guys, first things first, subscribe to Levon's channel and follow Iraqli on Instagram. First yeah. things first. And Levon on Instagram as well. <laughs> the links are in the <laughs> description box below. And guys, there is going to be a team personal record merch Black Friday sale coming up all in Black Friday itself. It's going to be a three day long sale, so please stay tuned for that. We don't do many sales on PR, you know, only a couple a year. So if you want to get PR at a discounted price, that's the day to do it. On another note, King of the Table 2 is happening. We have several confirmed matches, just getting the contract signed, and then we'll let you guys know who's pulling who. Uh, my opponent still right-handed is Brandon Allen, and maybe left-handed LeVon. Just kidding, he's going to be filming, he'll be busy flying back to Georgia on December 1st. This is a four hour long workout. LeVon was not joking when he said, the workouts are from three to four hours. This is not a game. It really is three to four hours. Um, hour to 90 minute long workout feels like a walk in the park after being in the gym for four hours straight training. Granted, long rest periods, but everything is max effort for the most part. But nonetheless, I enjoy it. I love arm wrestling training, especially when you get to train with some of the, two of the best arm in the world in the top eight, nonetheless. So it's a huge privilege to me. I'm very grateful. I'm happy to have you guys here. The channel is very happy to see you guys in action. And without Coach not saying, we wish you all the best. But this is not a farewell to them. They're going to be here for several more weeks. Um, and we had some practice pulls. And uh, they say I'm making good progress. So things are looking up. Brandon Allen, watch out. Could be holding the Larry. All right, guys, like, subscribe, comment below. And again, follow your boys. 
We'll be back.